Wow, wow, what a wow. Okay, um, the chewy flank guy. Do I agree with that? Yes, I do. Okay, so what do we take out? So people say take out Lexa, right? What else do we take out? Maybe the Annihilator? Do we take out the Annihilator? Like, I agree this card's good. I don't think we need blood games. One... Where is he? No. Wait, what? One more to reload. What? This guy. Ah, uh, you think only one of this, do you reckon? So take out one of these, add two of these. That's what you reckon? Yeah, because the buff card could brick, I suppose. And sometimes we're not really going to need it. Look, okay. Let's give it a red hot go then, yeah? It's probably as good as we're going to get. Let's give it a red hot go. We are getting challenged, but we're just going to get a ladder for now. Okay. Diaz. Okay, this might not be too bad because it feeds our reckoning if he uses his ability. This is a good opening hand. Okay, so we're just going to use our ability turn one. This minus two? Yeah. If he uses his ability, we just play this. Okay, well, we have to do it this way. We don't get a trigger, unfortunately, but that's okay. Out of all Primax lore-wise, I love Valda the most. Look, I'm kind of keen to get into him. Mm, this is this might be okay to play. It's probably very annoying for him. I'm okay with that. A oh, spear, yes. Yes. He's more or less a Primark, though. He's the Primark of the Custodians. He's the best Custodians. So, like, none of the Custodians are as good as a Primark, but all of the Custodians are better than a Space Marine. Hmm, okay. That was a good top deck. Unfortunately, we don't get two kills here for our Reckoning, but that was worth doing there. That's our one board wipe, but it did get him past a lot of cards that he had. It sets him back far enough that it's good for us. Yeah, good. I mean, we're just gonna get rid of it. This is really good, because now if he kills this, we still draw a card at the beginning of our turn. This is so good now. This is excellent. This is 100% the go. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So this kills that. Next turn, Reckoning. GG. Like, how does he punch through this? The answer is he doesn't. He can kill this with shooting it for seven, then he swings here killing that. Yeah, which is exactly what he's going to do. But then we just reckoning. And that's GG, right? Valda, good matchup though. Good matchup. Yeah, okay. So we just need to buff twice here. Oh, we only need to buff once. Fuck. Okay, that's my bad there. I missed out on being able to play this as well, but that's okay.
Okay. Okay. I think I want Tribute down. That's fine. He's got two cards left, we got this. Watch for Senate win recommend. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But like, our hand is stacked full of big things. If we can't win from our hand right now, then what's the point? Like we, our hand is winning. GG. He's used both his kill spells. I can't think of anything that would save him. Like, he can play frontliners, but just buys him one turn, you know? The Survivor 3 is excellent. Yeah, GG. He fought back there a bit at the end, but again... We just had him. We just had him. Alright, we're being challenged by somebody. Let's do this one. We'll do this one, then we'll go back to ladder. Alright. Okay, uh, yeah? What tactic would we need? We got spear. We don't need that. We got spear. Oh, good hand. I think you find our methods to be more... <laughs> I didn't know about that interaction, hell yeah. That's a great interaction. I guess that makes sense. Okay. Well, Spear feels good. My favorite thing they've added to this game is this. Like, being able to see what it is. Is it like this as well? I think. Okay, the Reckonings don't bring it up. That's okay. If he attacks, he attacks. If he doesn't, he doesn't. I don't mind either way. That's an issue. So my turn is this, this, and draw. I think we might lose the long game here, but we will see. Like, Malkador's Chosen could really screw with us, but as long as we can get through Chosen, I think we'll be okay. I guess if he gets to stealing cards, that'll be an issue, but still. Jet bike, then double swing face. I think would be the go. No, maybe not. The precog sucks. You're gonna miss that, yeah, okay. Doesn't quite kill it in one. I really want a Valador when Custodes came out and I bought crates for like, where wow, 250 euro until I got him. That's insane. That's actually a nutty amount of money. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, that was happening. Why? What? Ah, okay. Hmm. Oh, that's not enough. Fuck. 
I thought that was enough. God damn it. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I am the stupid. I am the stupid. Your soon to be wife is not very happy about it. Look, I can imagine. At least we can just get rid of it next turn. We are low on life, which I don't like. Hmm. I think my turn is this ability, Halls of Terror, Annihilator. Because I think he struggles to take, get rid of Annihilator. Right? Like, he can play some tactics. Or if you just send it back to my hand. I think hopefully this kills it. It's fine, that's deck. Don't play another tactic. Good. Now let it die for me. So many cards. So many cards. We are worried about the other chosen is the problem. Sword of Truth on the Hunting Eagles. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Am I okay with that? I think I am. I'm gonna take the damage. Because then. The problem is, our life is 12. Chipura might be very good now. He might be. He lost front line, though, didn't he? It's battle on a draw, pay one gain shield, isn't it? He lost his front line. Which is, I guess, fine in Custodes. But still. Interesting. I guess he's used Sword of Truth now, so... He only needs a couple of deal 7 damages. The annoying thing is, I don't have a way to kill this. Oh, yes, I do. Can we win now? Can we win now? Unless he's got deal 7 twice. Or he's able to deal, like, deal 3 jam and deal 3 damage to everything would ruin us. But we'll see, right? He's only 10 cards deep. And he, he's already used one. So he might not have another good one here. Mm-hmm. With th actually three damage of killing him. Okay. No draw. That was the play? I think it's a risky play, because if his hand can kill me, his hand can kill me. But I think that was the play. Like, unless he's got a way to get through this, we win, more or less. I 
Like, the Venatari squads are great, but when you've only got two cards left in your hand, unless they're dope, I guess that buys you a little bit of time. Don't be dumb. Don't attack. Seven damage doesn't kill me. He needs a seven and a three. To be honest, keeping Hunting Eagles alive there might have been the go and just play a second frontliner, but... Very close. Very close. This is an intense game. It's got to be bounce one of them, right? I forgot about that. But we win now, right? Eight and seven... Okay. This is a guaranteed draw. This is the problem with that. This also wins me the game. Which would he have picked is the question. So we play this. Right. The question is... Which one wins me the game, and which one kills me? Oh, that doesn't even win me the game. Okay, never mind. I'm just dumb. I forgot. Glad I didn't pick bikes. We would have lost. We would have lost with bikes, guys. We would have lost. We'll take the draw. Draw is fine. Draw is Please fine. remind me in this video. I'll play Lucius tonight. But Lucius tonight is a good idea because of the buff. We'll play Lucius. But there was another. There was something else. I just can't quite remember. So I apologize, remind me, and I'll play it in the future. War will come to us from within. Okay. War from within, hey? I think this is good. Take four damage. Take two damage. Fuck four. Yeah, we got four attack, guys. We got four attack. It's fine. How do we even play the mirror? I don't even know how to play this mirror. I think it's just be good. Only in death onto a Bureau Cat is pretty cool. We'll do this because we have Bureau Cats. This wouldn't be worth it if we didn't have the Bureau Cats. My next turn should be double Bureau Cat draw. Swing. This almost kills anything he wants to play. We'll see. And Hunting Eagles in hand is a good get out of jail. No, it's, a, it's an infantry, but it's a Custodes. And this friendly random troop, if it was a Custodes, and it's a Custodes. So. So, it'll work. Maybe it won't. Because this does say Custodes. You're right, it probably wouldn't. It probably wouldn't, would it? It probably wouldn't. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Yeah. That's a stupid thing, yeah, no. Hmm. Should we try it? Yeah, okay. Okay, we know now. Little man in the dreadnought with his scrolls, for sure. Oh, he's got spear. We dug for spear and we didn't get it, so that's annoying. Yeah. 
Spear's dangerous. I feel so much more in control of the game as Nassau. But as uh, Valdor here, it's kind of hard sometimes. Troop Custodius just doesn't work because of Sentinel. Sometimes, you know? Your opponent can just abuse it and make you get fucked, so... I'm glad we tested that though, it's good to know. Oh, man, I'm glad I started early tonight. I'm having a good time. What are you... No way, you're not attacking that twice, you're not taking 12. Oh, you're attacking me. That makes sense. That's fine. We'll start with our ability. That's nice to have, and we'll protect. Valor should be too easy to draw a trip in your deck. If it's a custodian, your troop loses Sentinel. No. I think that might be too much. I think that might be too much. Mm-hmm. So at the moment, that's getting Hunting Eagled. And he's taking 10 damage to face, and I'm drawing a card. What does he do for three? Defend himself, I guess, but if he wants to use his second one. Yeah. Okay, there goes both of those. I'm perfectly okay with this, because my board's going to be flooded and he's not going to be able to come back. Yeah, he can play a Talon one next turn, but that's okay. So we draw. That's very good. And now he plays a Talamon. Now he plays a Talamon. No, that's not a Talamon. Now he plays a Talamon? No. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's cool. So we kill. Do we then go face after we kill that? And leave it, yeah. That's what happens there. Pick your target, right? Pick your target. Again, if you've got a Telemon, play it, it's okay. I think we got this. Benediction would suck. I do not care about that at all. Veldor can be very difficult to play. You're exactly right. There's a lot of small intricacies that. What was the challenge? Destroy enemy troops with your troops. Oh, the challenge. Yeah, like, playing around with, Sen with Sentinel is rough sometimes. You can't just play little troops and expect to get away with it, is the thing. You have to be clever. You really do. Araman! Been a red-hot minute. It's been a red-hot minute. Let's keep it. I think this is actually not terrible. That makes me feel good. Command bridge, yep. Yeah. 
My man, how we doing? Having a good time? I was kind of hoping they brought Trajan into the tabletop. Sorry, not Trajan. Um, Valdor into the tabletop this edition, but maybe next edition. He's definitely better now, but still as a one-times. He's twice in this deck, but I do see him as a one-times. I do get that. Okay, you can get that stuff. That's fine. We're going to draw from this. And we're going to draw from this. Only death is very good. Feasting was testing Valdor with Duke. I like... Oh, Duke. Duke sounds great. Duke sounds like an amazing idea. I think we need to be aggressive here now. My turn might be swing and only in death to get rid of it. Because this is rough. Only in death and ability. Okay, that's cool. So getting rid of this is pretty essential. I don't see what else he's going to do here other than heal himself. Yeah, that's fine. It prevents some damage that way, but that's okay. We're going to only in death here. We get the damage in, we only in death here. We get a Telamon. We draw a card. That's pretty good. Good draw there. We still have a 6 1 with Survivor 2 on field. We're feeling good. Feeling good. He's down a decent amount of life. He's got a lot of psychic energy. Interesting that he didn't want me to take that, so we're going to draw. That's worth playing. You can take 6 while well, in turn. If he's not careful, he's going to die before his mission goes off. You know? And again, he could just trade here, but whatever. Yeah, no, we, we don't really care. You're going to have all the psychic energy you could want. That was the problem. So far, he's had both his legendaries, which sucks. That's lame. That's good for us. Okay, good decent play. That goes here. This comes here, we swing here, we end turn. Four cards in hand, all the psychic energy in the world. Let's see how we go. I can't decide if I want to main Telamon or just play two in death. I still think you want to main Muntel one. I still think it's worth maining one. Let me kill this. If he has another kill spell, he has another kill spell. But he's only got three cards in hand. If he's got it, he's got it, alright? I don't mind. At this stage, what are you doing? That's... I don't care. Okay, book. That's kind of annoying, because he'll get it. But at least we draw, right? Okay. Gonna tell him I'm for sure, and I personally play too early in death. I think, yeah, maybe too early in death is the go, since it puts it in your hand, because it replaces itself. And it's a great endgame card. Okay, trip threes. Wow, okay. That's a very much a pain in the ass. Okay. Watch him get it again. Does this give you a selection of three? I bet it does. I bet he's just going to sit there, yeah. So we've lost this, right? Because we can't... Unless we draw it. Actually, no, we can win this. We just need really lucky draws. Because we can kill... Like, he's going to get his mission off. That's fine. 
the thing that I need is a troop. Because this gives me plus two attack, the other one will give me plus one, that's five, and then this. Jesus. Okay, I need that, but alright. You have enough psychic energy, my guy. I was going to say, is he not protected? But he is now. Because he's healing as well when he does this. So we've, we've definitely lost, right? We don't come back from this. You draw your deck. What's your, what's your end game here? Do you have the... Does he have the combo, you think? Like... Play the thing, shoot me. No, maybe not. Okay. Okay. Like the legendary that gives you thing reflection I'm talking about. Because we can kill both of these if we draw the card, but we need more than one turn for it, is the thing. Yeah. This is fine. Like, I'll take this. This is okay. So yeah, if he attacks with them, but he's already used their ability. So we're going to play Telamon. I mean, if he has a Nash and Blow, he wins. Does he not have an Ash and Blow? Oof. Probably still dead. I mean, bang, 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 he attacks with him and he can get rid of it, but... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, GG. GG. What a game. What a game. Props to this guy. Props to this guy. Like, he just won because he got the fact that I couldn't attack him. That's why he won there. He got both of them out. And he kept generating that, which sucks. Otherwise, we had him. Heal four and precog multiple turns in a row because you can is rough. Cage. Interesting. <coughs> uh, this is the card I was looking for, by the way. It's the plus one with the plus two and the board wipe would have done it. How do we beat Ultramarines? Okay, so your mission Ultramarines. Interesting. Okay. Little drunk guy. This guy's playing a weird deck. A very weird deck. 
This gives to vehicles, right? Deal 4 damage to enemy vehicle. Okay, yeah. Okay. That's our play. Because if he doesn't kill it, we kill both. I wouldn't bother playing Cage without mission now, but I don't have the ultimate missions yet. Yeah. Actually, Cage mission might have been the other deck that I was asked to do. That might be the go. Okay, I'm cool with you doing that. I'm also cool with that. I'm going to take the damage. I'm going to take the damage there. The thing is, 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 like, if we can get a Reckoning off, we feel good. Okay, I'm going to take 7 damage here for the cause. Like, it's that sucked, but it's worth it. One more, and we'll have it. Come on, play that thing that gives you two low cost. Okay, why not? So, we're gonna Hunting Eagle that? Yeah. Yeah. I think we need to be aggressive, even though we're less life here. Wow, what? Why would you do that? Okay, well... That ordering? What? <laughs> okay, legions. Okay, he wait, wait. Hear me out here. Now we win? We have lethal, right? So plus eight, plus nine. Yeah, it's lethal. Very good. That was good. Just at the point where he was going to tip over and get us, we got him. I think that's also another alright matchup because. He plays a lot of low costy sort of stuff we can trigger with our Reckoning. Now, unfortunately, a lot of it is for defense, which is kind of a rough spot for us. But yeah, once you get Valdor's Reckoning off, it's good. He played a lot of cheap filler troops. Yeah, but that's to get the thing off, because once he gets it off, he feels good. I'm going to get rid of it for now. This for the drop pods. Okay, well... Our endgame troops are better than his, but he has a kill spell. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. We'll see how this goes. I think I need to be passive here and just outvalue him. Like, he gets a lot of cool value stuff, but I think our stuff is slightly bigger, you know? Like, other than his kill spell, he can't deal with the Telamon. So if we can force him out, that would be great. That would be great. Okay, I'll take that damage, I don't care. We'll use our counter-attack to deal with that thing. Ah, 
having just drawing spear there makes me feel good. It was a waste to play that. I don't know why he did. Maybe he actually he probably wanted to play the um, five two this turn. That's probably the go. Or nothing. Or nothing. That's good too. Okay. We got spear up. Spear feels good. If you get spear up on four energy, you shouldn't lose, right? Effectively, especially with Nassau, you don't lose. But if you can on curve spear. You're in such a strong position. Not an auto win with Valdor, but very, very strong. It's really good in this matchup because a lot of your stuff is drop pod with three health. Uh, we're going to trade in our jet bike that. And then swing at it with face to. Like, I don't want to take six damage from it, you know? Like, that's enough. Much as I could have done it without wasting this, I think it's okay. And we don't want to drop down too much life and give him a massive push. I really would like my board wipe here. Because you play the thing, smack two of the drop pods, play it, kill the other two things. Or even the other way around so you can get the reckoning down. Okay, hunting eagles. What do I do about host? My board wipe. My board wipe clears host. But to be honest, he can't play host next turn because I do this. And we've got lightning. We have um, spear, so... Okay. So that deals with two of them. So spear and knights probably deal with host. You know? If he hosts here, okay. I'm okay with this. Because we can floodish again and be feel good. Okay, there it is. There's our answer. So this can be played. This can be played. And I think we use ability here. I don't think we push too much. Okay, I'm glad I used that ability. Okay, hand, fe hand feeling good, guys. Hand feeling very good. I think he knows we win the late game. That's why he's being aggressive. Interesting. Like, the flanky guy, shoot for one swing, and then we hunting eagles the flanking guy? Sanguinary guard, that's the one. So seven energy kill this. Not sanguinary guard, right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My best play here is hunting eagles this swing, yeah. Now we can be aggressive. Next turn, Benediction. Actually, can we win next turn? 10, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We've got lethal. We have exact lethal at the moment. Never mind. Oh, no, never mind. He's dumb. Some fine ghost smile. Let me just recalculate this. So 8 and 6 is 14, plus another 6, 20, 23. Yeah. Have a good night, my man. See you next time.
That went pretty hard. That went pretty hard. Having a good time. Having a good time with with um, Valdor. Alright, so we're going to play Iron Hands after this. And then we're going to play Lucius. Someone give me a Lucius deck. And then we maybe, we, maybe we'll play Mission Cage. So I need a Lucius deck, I need a Mission Cage deck, and I'll build a Ferris deck. So last game is Custodes, and then we'll do that. So if... Over the next, like, hour, like 45 minutes, Alien Isolation. Soon. Soon, my guy. One day. One day. I've got, like, four or five weeks worth of leave built up at work. The only problem is I want to take some, but my partner has to get jaw surgery at some time. So I'll be saving it all for when that happens. I think veterans fuck him. So I just pre natural skills. Okay. 35 health Lucius, guys. What a Chad. What an absolute Chad. That extra 5 health is going to go the distance. If we play Spear, he's got to be careful. Because of our lethal range. I am the best swordsman. 25 health Lucius, yeah. 35 health, yeah, okay. I'm cool with that. I'll, I'll take a Reckoning reduce, Reduction. Oh, boy. That's a lot of damage. Um, so, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. Yeah, okay. Our lethal range will be 12. This is going to be incredible. Our lethal range will be 12. Which is really amazing. We just have to be really careful here. Preacher natural skills into hunting eagles will be very effective. Because this buffs us to 4, 5, uh, speed for 6, double hit, 12. Okay, we don't need to use it, so we will just play this. A hand has lethal enough, so... We're 7 health down, but that's not within his super lethal range yet. What did he do on his turn again? Crucial choice. Okay. Mm, this is okay. We hunting eagles it. I don't think he can do 14 to us. So that goes here. This goes here. And at this stage, we're winning next turn. And if for some reason he manages to hide, we preach natural skills and hide as well. That's the go. Lucius isn't worse cause but better cause Wayne? Probably. So we're winning. No, we're leaving him on one. No, we're not. We're winning. Very good. Very good. Time for Ferris. Oh, wow. Wow.